An espresso machine for your pocket? The Wakako Mini Presso is a pretty impressive little machine. It's solidly built and the main feature is the semi-automatic piston which you use to pressurize your brew. The piston locks back into the body very nicely. You twist it to pull it out. Overall, the whole assembly is very compact. The cap turns into a drinking cup. Below that is the nozzle where espresso will flow from. On the bottom side, there is a water tank which can hold enough water for one shot of espresso. Below the nozzle is the portafilter. This is a Nespresso compatible model, so it accepts original line Nespresso pods. Once the pod is in, screw the nozzle back on. I'm going to preheat the water tank by adding some water right off the boil and emptying it out. This helps retain the heat in the final beverage. Fill up the water to the mark inside the tank and carefully attach it back to the bottom. Twist to pull out the piston and start pumping. As you pump, pressure will build up inside the machine. Once there is enough pressure, you'll see some nice foamy espresso begin to flow from the nozzle. Keep pumping until nothing comes out. This indicates that all the water has been used up and your shot has been fully brewed. You can see a nice thick layer of crema forming on top of the shot as well. You may also have noticed how the coffee in the initial pumps was much darker as it was a combination of espresso and crema. The later pumps was just crema as you would expect from any espresso machine. Here's some slow-mo video to enjoy. Overall, the shot tasted really authentic and was, an accept was at an acceptable drinking temperature. The entire Wakako unit is quite portable, but it is quite heavy at a little under half a kilogram. Cleaning up is pretty easy too. Just rinse the nozzle and eject the capsule and you're done. I'd say that the coffee tasted almost the same as a shot pulled from a proper Nespresso machine. Obviously, there was a little difference, such as a little less crema and a marginally less intensity, but on the whole, I can't complain for something this portable and convenient. The combination of pot convenience and the tiny size make this a winner in my book. Please remember to subscribe for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And as always, you can check out the blog at coffeeinmyveins.com for more coffee information.